Today we're going to learn how to play your classic blues shuffle in E. So the first thing you need to do is work on how you're going to strum this. And the strumming pattern is going to be similar the entire way through. So this is going to be a 12 bar blues. And how the strumming pattern is going to go, you can rest your, your left hand or your fretting hand over the strings or you're muting the strings and it's going to sound like this. So what that is, is it's one and two and three and four and so it's like a swung eighth note feel which is like your shuffle rhythm of eighth note so it's one and two and three and four and and it's all down strokes so you can just work on that get a feel for that and you're just strumming your low e and your a string at first and then your your chord that you're going to be holding and you can just do this with one finger and you can hold this down and this is technically an E power chord here. What that is is you're just you're just fretting the second fret on your A string. You can also fret the second fret on your D string as well and then you're hitting the E open. And you can also just fret the A string and mute out that D string. Which is probably what you want to do here, but it's okay if you press down on the D string as well. And then what we're going to do with that rhythm, it's going to be like this. So one secret to this blues, not really a secret, is to palm mute. So what you need to do is you need to rest your palm, the fatty part of your hand, on the bridge and touch those strings. So without touching the strings, it's going to sound like this. And that's too much. So you got to get your you got to get your palm on those strings to deaden them a little and it's going to change your tone. And the further you go up, the more it's going to deaden them. So you got to find that sweet spot right on the bridge. And then what we're going to do with that, we're going to add in this little this little riff with it. So it's going to be So this is going to help the dexterity in your hand and it's just a nice little little riff that that gives it a nice bluesy feel and there's a lot of variations on how you want how people play this but this is just one way that I like and sounds good and it's one and two and three and four and so what we're doing there is on the two we're hitting our ring finger down on the fourth fret of the A string and then on the and, we're already lifting it up. And then we're going three on the with the pinky on the fifth fret of your A string. And then your and is back down to your second fret of your A string. And then your four is with your ring finger again on that fourth fret. And then your and is taking that ring finger off again. So one. So you want to do that slow and get a feel of that because that's what's really going to carry you through the whole thing. So that's your E chord. On this channel, we're trying to get better at guitar. So if that's something you're into, then please like and subscribe. We're going to talk about what a 12 bar blues structure is. So a 12 bar blues structure, if you don't know, it is four bars of E or your one chord. Your one chord in this instance is your E chord. So it's four bars of your one chord. So you do this four times. One. Two, three, four, and then you're going to switch chords and you're going to go to your four chord. So your four chord in the key of E is A. So you're going to go to your, your A for two bars. And what that A chord is, we'll jump to that now, is just that same shape that we just played, but it's your A and your D string. So you're going to be fretting the second fret in your D string and your A is going to be open and you're not going to want to hit your E string on this chord. 
and it's going to be the same rhythm pattern. You're still going to want to mute the strings down here on the bridge. You're going to want to palm mute them and you're still going to want to do the same thing with your ring finger and your pinky finger. And then your 12 bar blues is going to go back to E for two bars. So it's going to go right back to your one chord. So it's your one for four bars, your four for two bars, and then your one for two bars. So here's, here's where we are now from, from the top. And here's where it gets fun. So here's where you get into your five chord, your four chord, and then your turnaround. So the way it goes is you got your, your one for four bars, your four for two bars, your one for two bars, and then you have your five chord for one bar, your four chord for one bar, and then it's your turnaround. So your turnaround is typically your one to your five chord is the last two bars of a 12 bar blues. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna come off of that those two bars are your one chord. And then you can leave your index finger fretted here because that's your five chord. Your five chord's a B chord in this instance. So you have your four chord is the open A and then your five chord is the second fret on that A string. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your ring finger down on the fourth fret of that D string. So that was a five to a four right there. So if we're gonna come off of that E, that e chord. So there's different ways to approach this five chord. You could, you could stretch out your finger all the way and do another little riff on it. But if you don't feel like doing that, you can just do this, the straight strumming with no riff. So the way you would do this with your pinky down on the sixth fret is one and two and three and four and. So what that is, you're putting your pinky down on your two, lifting it up, you're putting your pinky down on your four and lifting it up. So it's still just hitting one note. And then you're doing the same thing with your, your A chord. You're just doing it with the ring finger on the fourth fret of your D string. So whichever is easier for you, and you could do you could do that type of pattern for the entire bit, the entire thing. If it's too hard for you to to put your pinky down, you could do that other strumming pattern, which is one and two and three and four and. But we like to use our pinky. We want to strengthen our pinky. We want to work on the dexterity in our hands. So we're going to use all that. So after you go from that five to that four chord, it's time for the turnaround. And you could just go back to your one chord. And then to your five chord and start over again. But that's not very much fun. And we're gonna, we're gonna do a fun turnaround that might be hard for you to grab, but this is the one I wanna teach you because it's got a great sound to it. So when we're coming off of that five chord to that four chord, it's gonna sound like this. So what I did there is This is a lot of fun. So we're taking that B string and we're sliding up from the third fret to the fifth fret. And we're already working on strumming two strings at once, right? So we're gonna strum our B string and our E string. 
So you're sliding up from your third fret to your fifth fret on that B string, and we're playing this E open note the entire time. So that E open is gonna act like a pedal. And what we're doing is we're sliding from that third fret to our fifth fret. And then when you, when you get there, you're gonna strum it again, so that's one and. And then for two and, you're gonna move up to the third fret and you're gonna go, and you're gonna strum the B and the high E string. And then for three and, you're gonna move to the second fret on the B string and the E open. And then you're gonna go to the first fret on the B and the E is gonna be open. So let's do that slow. And then we're gonna jump up here and we're gonna jump up to that A string. And the reason we're gonna do this is because we're gonna walk up to that five chord. So remember I said the 12 bar blues ends on a one to a five chord. So we're gonna walk up to this five chord after we do this little lick. And what that is, is it's open A, first fret on the A, third fret on the A. And you can alternate pick that. And then we're gonna grab onto this B7 chord. The B7 chord is the second fret on your A string, the first fret on your D string, and then it's the second fret on your G string. And you can let the other notes ring out if you need to, if you can mute them off, and that's great too. But all those notes will be fine sitting in that chord as, as open notes. So what that, what that is, it's one and two and four and. And if that turnaround's too difficult, you can just do something like this. So we're gonna start on that B, that B chord. So all that is right there is you're just taking that E chord again. So you're jumping when you're, after you finish that five to that four progression. You're going to this E chord. And what you're doing is you're doing one and two and three and four and, and you're doing that on the low E string at the third and fourth fret. So on the two, you're hitting the third fret with your middle finger. On three, you're hitting your fourth fret on that low E string with your middle finger, or with your ring finger, sorry. And then you're going back on that four with your middle finger to that low E string. And then it's still really nice if you can get this down to just do that walk down that open one, two on that A string. And if you can grab that B7 right there, then that's great. So now is the time to put it all together. So let's just do a little playthrough here. I hope you like this lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.